Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. The problem reads uh, determine the internal norm of force, shear force, and moments at point A and B in the column. Uh, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Hibela. So we have a column that is a section that is just below B, and the beam is also connected to the column at this point. Right. So, um, let's start doing the work. So, uh, I'm going to redraw this beam using a neutral axis. This is the axis that passes through that point. Okay. And that neutral axis is an axis where uh, the longitudinal stresses and strains are equal to zero. So, uh, let's do a section and then redraw just a portion of the neutral axis okay uh, we do a section there and then let me call this point is my c okay great so there we go i have a portion like so and then this is my C. So I'll rewrite these forces. These forces are eccentric uh, or eccentrically loaded. It means they are going to cause uh, some moments, okay, about the neutral axis, right? And uh, so about C there, which is the neutral axis, we're going to have some moments being caused by these eccentric loads. So let's write these loads. So six kilonewtons will have two components. It's going to have this component, which is six uh, sine 30, which is just basically equal to uh, three because uh, sine 30 is 0.5. And then we have this other one, this other one, which is uh, 6 uh, cos, this is 6 cos 30. Uh, this one is just going to be equal to, where is my calculator? This one is just going to be equal to 6 cos 30. Uh, this gives me a 5 point one nine six two great all right so i'm going to have this force here in this direction which is just a three and then we'll have the summation of the two forces summation of these two forces eight plus uh five point one nine 6, 2. If we sum up the 2, uh, this gives us a 13 point, 13, right? 13.1962 kilo newtons. Then we are also going to have a moment here. Let's assume it's a, a clockwise. This is about C, where the neutral axis goes through. So let's say this M is going to be equal to uh, a clockwise due to this. So we have a minus 5.1962 by 0.4 and then plus uh, anticlockwise 8 by 0.4. Okay. What does this one give us? So minus 5.1962. 1962 uh, by 0.4 plus 8 by 0.4. So this gives us a 1.1215 kilonewton meters. So the way what I've done here is uh, rewriting all these forces about point C is equivalent 
uh, forces. Remember, you're writing equivalent forces, right? Okay. So minus 5.1962, 5.4. Plus eight by point four. That's one point twelve twelve fifteen. Twelve fifteen. Great. Alright. So this point is A and we are moving from down going up. Okay. Our coordinate system for our column will have Y there, we have X. Okay. We are moving like that. And then at this A here, we are going to have uh, the reactions as follows. Um, of course, the length for this is uh, the length is uh, 0.9 is uh, 0.9, right? Point nine. Then here we have V A. Then we have okay. Let me write V A properly. This is our V A. Then we have M A. Then we have N A. All right. So let's apply the equations of equilibrium. We have summation of moments about point A equal to zero. Mm -hmm. Okay, and clockwise being our reference. What do we have? Uh, we have a 1.1215 by the lever arm, which is 0.9. Okay, what else? Ah, no, sorry. Sorry, what do we have? That's in the moment I'm now staying. We have a 3 by 0 0.9. This is what I meant. Okay. Then plus 1.1215. This is the moment. Okay. Then we have minus MA equal to 0. Therefore, our MA is just going to be equal to, so we have 3 times 0 0.9 plus 1.1215. Um, so this gives us a 3.8215. Uh, okay, kilonewtons meter. Alright, then we have summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero. What do we have? We have minus 13.1962, uh, then minus Na equal to zero. And therefore, our Na is just going to be equal to minus 13.19. 62 kilo newtons so minus just means change of sign so that this part of uh, this section is in compression then we have summation of forces in the x equal to zero okay what do we have uh, we have minus 3 minus va equal to zero Therefore, VA is just equal to 3 kilo newtons. Great. So we are done with uh, the first section. So let's, let me copy this so that I do the other section. Uh, let me copy this. Let me bring this part here. Let me bring this part here. Maybe uh, I push it a little bit there. So this was our section. This was our section A. Okay. This one will be our section B, but we need to complete it. Okay. So let's complete it. Let me wrap this part. 
I rub this part and I also rub this part. Great. So this will be extended further down, maybe let's say up to there like that. Great. Okay. And then we have the length of this portion, which is just equal to uh, is equal to there is a part which is 0 0.9. Let's say 0 0.9 is somewhere there. All right. So this is our 0 0.9. This is our 0 0.9. And then this one is a two. All right. This point is B. And um, there is something also that we are going to have from this portion of this beam. Okay, we've seen this beam here. This beam, it is also going to contribute some axial force along the column. And the longitudinal length of the column as well as some couple moment which we can transfer you know using those principles of equivalent forces so let's do so if you don't want to transfer you can just do a section and then uh, draw the beam put the force take moments about that point you can do that okay or maybe we do that right so that um, i don't confuse anyone right so let's apply Okay, so we are going to have uh, the internal force at B. We are going to have the internal force at B of VB. Then we'll have a moment of MB. And then we'll have normal force of NB. Applying the equations of equilibrium, we'll have summation of moments about point B equal to zero and clockwise being our reference. And then we'll have, um, we're going to have 3 times 2.9. Okay, let me draw this part of uh, the beam. We're going to have this beam there as well. Because this, okay, so we have a force there, which is a 3 kilonewtons and it is spaced it is spaced at 1.5 okay great so we have 3 by 2.9 this 3 this 3 okay and then later on we have plus 1.1215 then we have plus 3 by from the beam by 1.5 then later on we have minus mb equal to 0 therefore mb is just going to be equal to grab the calculator 3.29 3 times 2.9 plus 1.415 plus 3 by 1.5 so this gives us a 14.3215 uh, kilonewton meters then we have summation of forces in the y equal to 0 going up in our reference what we have we have minus 13.1962 um, minus 3 kilonewtons and minus NB NB okay equal to 0 and therefore our NB is just going to be equal to minus 13.1962 minus 3 uh, this gives us a minus 16.1962 kilo newtons. Then finally, we have summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero. Uh, we have uh, minus three 
a minus vb equal to zero and vb is just going to be equal to minus three kilonewtons all right so we have found what ma is and ma is just a three point a2 and it is positive and we found what the normal force is which is negative just denoting some compression and we found VA which is positive 3 kilonewtons and then at B we have a moment a positive moment of 14 point uh 14.32 which is higher than the ma and then the normal force at b is minus 16 uh, compared to the one at a this one is higher and then vb uh, has the same magnitude like the one at a i think this is about it and i hope the video was helpful and if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and sharing my channel. Bye-bye and see you in my next uh, screencast.